Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, um, but as many of you know, I did um, have to travel back home to Louisiana. Um, my family and I, we laid my grandmother to rest this past Saturday, um, and it happened so fast. Um, but I'm thankful. I'm still grieving, you know. Um, it actually, you know, grief doesn't kick in until you actually get home. You're by yourself. The party is over. Your celebration is over for the home going. And it's kind of like, okay, I'm by myself now, you know. Uh, but I've been holding up. I've been doing what I need to do, still getting up every day, going to work. And I think that's what's sustaining me um, in prayer and everything else. Uh, but I'm more thankful than anything that I knew my I knew my grandmother my whole life like um she was here before I was even born so for the whole to have my grandmother you know for the whole 37 years I cannot complain and I'm happy that she's not suffering anymore but there's always a message in situations like this and everybody deals with death differently everybody grieves differently um, and I never asked God why my granny, I never asked him why he took her away. Cause I knew she was in pain and I knew she was probably ready to go. But what this death in the family of the death of my grandmother taught me is that, um, at first it hurts and then it changes you because you start to look at life different. My grandmother loved the Lord. Um, and she would always tell me, I'd be like, Granny, I'm I'm gonna break these curses in my family. She would like, Baby, do it. Um, well, Granny, I'm finna X Y Z. Baby, do it while you can. Do it while you're still young. Do it while you're still able. My Granny was always an encourager to do whatever you say you're gonna do. If if it's ordained by God or if it's something that's gonna set change in your life and in your family do it um i remember when i told her, I said granny i'm gonna break these generational curses off of my family she said baby somebody need to do it and that's when i knew my assignment became much bigger but what this has taught me is to live my life you know live and not get too caught up in social media and not get too caught up in the materials and not get too caught up and the tangible things because when I saw my grandmother's casket drop the other day all the stuff she had you know whether it was a little stuff or a lot of stuff she couldn't take none of that stuff with her and so my message today is is um let's not be workers of iniquity you know workers of sin workers of steady in the money workers of cheating people workers of doing things that we know that god has already told us in our family if you know if you have this type of family to teach you and tell you not to do certain things and i also gathered that it hurts yeah it hurts because i'm gonna miss her um but i the biggest thing that i learned one of the biggest things i learned is this is just a passing place do y'all hear me um, it, it really dawned on me this past weekend that where we are, this apartment I'm in, that car I drive, that job I'm working, these are just past, we are just borrowing this stuff. And it, it blew my mind because of the way that you see the world and the way that you see people out here doing whatever just to get a dollar. They doing whatever just to, to get that status. They doing whatever just to get that car, whatever just to get that house. And it's not even worth it. It ain't even worth it. Like I just it, it like when when you I don't know if y'all ever had a full circle moment. That was a full circle moment for me. None of it is worth it. Like we work tirelessly onto these jobs. We work tirelessly onto these um, platforms, and we work tirelessly onto different things. And God is like, no, that 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 that's not it. That's not the way. But I wanted to come share that with you. Um, you know, my experience in this whole thing. Um, I'm okay. They I've had some people that's been riding with me, that's been checking on me every day. A couple people have even sent me lunch, y'all. Just like, hey, I know it's a hard time. Make sure you eat because I that's one thing that is still not the same for me is my appetite. 
your girl can eat and lately i just haven't been having the the appetite to eat or anything but i just want to come and say thank you guys i'm getting back into the swing of things i started a new schedule at work new progress new projects on the way i just joined in with a very popular app um that is gonna um get this thing kind of going in a different direction so it's important like i preached before like i was doing hair for 20 years and god said no i want you to do something else and here come all the opportunities and i just keep hearing my granny saying do it baby do it while you can so guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna do it while i can so y'all have a blessed day and i will see y'all soon Mwah. love you guys bye